So the Met fans are still losing their shit because the team began the season 0-4 as if it's a 16-game football season and they're dead already, as opposed to baseball where there's 158 games left. So from the perspective of a lifelong diehard Yankees fan, I want you to rewind the clock to 1998. The Yankees had famously won the 1996 World Series, first World Series they won in 18 years, and then in 97, they actually had a stronger team, but flamed out against a tough Cleveland Indians team. But the sense was they probably should have won that series. The Indians defeated them in the first round, the LDS. The Yankees um, made some key free agent signings in the 97 offseason. They signed Chili Davis, who was a terrific, you know, home run hitter, DH type, and Chuck Knobloch, who had been an all-star second baseman. And you had David Cohn still near his prime, Andy Pettit in his prime, David Wells in his prime, Mariano looked like, you know, terrific short reliever, Stanton, Nelson. They had a lot of good players from Tino Martinez, Paul O'Neill, Jeter. Like this was not just a random collection of people. They were expected to not only compete, but win the American League East, win a hundred games, whatever. So the Yankees had a big spring. Oh, and then they signed El Duque, Orlando Hernandez. They break camp. They start the season on the West Coast. And they get the absolute shit kicked out of them early in the season. They're one in four after five games. One in four. And the kind of panic that you're seeing now and feeling if you're a Mets fan... 90-something percent of Yankee fans were already throwing in the towel. We got to fire Torrey. Jeter sucks. O'Neill sucks. Tino Martinez sucks. Mariano's not that good. Steinbrenner's got to sell the team to an owner who wants to win. Cashman, whoever this guy is, we got to get him out of here. He doesn't know how to assemble a team. And so on down the line. They were 1-4. There were 158 games left in the 1998 season. And everyone is freaking out, except me, who I guess the only one who ever actually watched baseball and understands seasons have ebbs and flows. And if you happen to have an ebb at the beginning of the season, everyone's going to think you suck and that you have a terrible non-contender of a team. All right. So WFAN, Sports Talk Radio, the hosts are up in arms. The Yanks are in trouble. Joe Torrey's on the hot seat. Joe might not survive if they don't turn it around today. This is the kind of fucking bullshit that even as a much younger person, 24-year-old me was laughing, laughing at the level of stupid that I was exposed to, not only on talk radio, but even people at the gym who were losing their shit. Jerry, they got to do something. They're doomed. What a waste of a season. It's not the fucking Jets. It's not the fucking Giants or the Patriots. What the hell's the matter with you? Now, Mike Francesa on WFAN, the only real true Yankee fan on that station at the time, not the biggest fan of Francesa, but Mike Francesa did not panic. Mike Francesa had the same reaction as me. He was incredulous at the level of stupid that he was exposed to that people were already calling for Tory to go, for Cashman, who was basically just a kid and that had just gotten there, he needed to go. And maybe they have to bench this guy or that guy. Mariano doesn't have the stones to make it as a closer because he had blown the series against Cleveland the previous year. This is the kind of stuff that was polluting the airwaves. And I'm giggling listening to these people on the phone. But meantime, everybody was serious. So Mike Francesa, to his credit, this might have been when he first started the phrase, talk to me in August. Talk to me in August. Talk to me in August is a metaphor. It means be serious. Let's play a little bit more baseball before talking about this season is over. This team is a disaster. Please just, just play a little bit more baseball. Do you know what happened to that one in four New York Yankees team the rest of the month of April? You care to guess, sports fans? The one in four, woe is me, get Tory the fuck out of here, get Cashman out of here, and Steinbrenner's time is done, get him out of here too, we need an owner who wants to win. That New York Yankees team, from one in four, they went 22 and two 
in their next 24 games and ran away with the American League East on their way to winning 114 regular season games and sweeping the division series. Tough series with Cleveland in the LCS, but sweeping the World Series. Now, if we had listened to the screaming, screeching Valley of the Stupid, we would have fired the manager. We would have replaced Mariano as closer because he sucked. Chili Davis, well, Chili Davis ended up not playing. But we would have made all of these moves. We would have, we got to sell everybody off. It's not our year. Let the season play out. Don't go crazy with 158 games to go. Don't go crazy with even 140 games to go. It's a long, long time from March to October. Give your team a chance, Mets fans. You have no idea how this season is going to go. Maybe Pete Alonso hits 60 homers this year. Maybe Lindor hits 30 to 40 and ends up in the MVP conversation. Maybe Edwin Diaz has an amazing bounce back year. And maybe they get Nimmo and McNeil and guys like that to have big years. There is no reason why the Mets can't compete for a playoff as presently constructed. It's baseball. Or as John Sterling says, whenever anything wacky, which happens all the time, as John Sterling famously says, that's baseball Susan. Can't root for the Mets. Impossible. But please, give it a little time before throwing in the towel. Please. Remember the 98 Yankees. Anything can happen in baseball. <laughs>